Hello guys, I hope you're all having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm bringing you a time lapse of the Draw This In Your Style challenge. My very first ever attempt at Draw This In Your Style challenge. I'm actually kind of surprised it's taken me this long to partake in this because it's been going around on Instagram for a really long time. It was really popular last year especially, but it seems to be kind of getting popular again on Instagram. And when I saw that Siren was hosting a Draw This In Your Style, that's when I couldn't help but partake because she's been one of my biggest inspirations for the longest time. For those of you who don't know, when I was first thinking about starting my YouTube channel, there were four main artist YouTubers who I was watching at the time and really looked up to and still watch and look up to to this day. And those four people were Draw of Jazza, Siren, Bailey J and also Miss Kerry J. So I've been following Siren for quite a while now and I've seen like how amazing her art has been over the years, especially because she's improved quite a lot as well. She's just got such a beautiful art style, as I'm sure you all already know. <laughs> I'm probably going to be just gushing over Siren's artwork for this whole video, but yeah, she's amazing and definitely one of my biggest inspirations. So I saw this drawing and I thought, oh my god, it's so beautiful, I want to have my own go at doing this and I can 100% see why this challenge is so popular because it's really fun to kind of imagine someone else's concept in your own style and I was especially excited to do the hair that was one of the things that stood out to me when I first looked at the drawing I was like damn that hair is so cool I've never drawn like silvery like white hair before so I was really excited and also kind of scared to attempt it because I don't know I don't feel like I draw long hair that often maybe I do I don't know but it really did feel like quite a chore coloring in all that hair I used to enjoy painting hair it used to really like relax me but now I find it really stressful because I'm trying to make it look good I don't know I'm going for a bit of um, a rut at the moment digital art wise like everything's not quite turning out how I want it to and it also leads me on to my next point, which is that I want to make more traditional art videos anyway. And I always have people asking me, oh, please do more traditional videos. So there will probably be more of them coming soon. But yeah, this was really fun to make. I kept trying to alter the eyes because the eyes weren't turning out exactly how I wanted them. And I knew that I wanted to keep the kind of, I don't know if it was intentional, but in Siren's original piece, I felt like the left eyebrow, well, on our left, was a little tiny bit higher, like a little bit raised. I don't know if that was intentional, but in my piece I tried to recreate that, so raise her eyebrow up a little bit. I kind of liked the look that it gave her, and I really loved the kind of freckles that have the stars on as well in her original drawing, like, I thought that was such a cool idea. I've never seen something like that before like star freckles I was like damn that's so cool so that was fun drawing the little stars although I found out that I'm very bad at drawing stars <laughs> I had to look up star reference so <laughs> that's probably not one of my proudest moments the star's quite easy surely but no I struggled with it apparently <laughs> and yeah I also tried to make the lips look quite similar to the lips that she'd drawn as well because I I don't know why I always revert to drawing the same kind of lips every single time I draw lips and yeah I need to kind of break out of that a little bit that was another thing I wanted to make a video soon on same face syndrome because I think it would be something really interesting to talk about because I used to get comments saying I had same face syndrome all the time and I don't know if anyone can tell but I've been trying to make a conscious effort to make sure every face I draw these days are different so different noses different eye shape different mouth shape different eyebrows stuff like that um I don't know if anyone's picked up on it but these days I try and make a conscious effort to make sure that's not a thing but I thought that would be like an interesting topic for a future video as I go along, I guess one tip I can give you when it comes to hair is like on a layer above the hair with like a soft airbrush, you can use lots of like small strokes to do like sort of like flyaways because in real life hair doesn't tend to be perfect, you know, like you will have like a few like wispy bits. Um, so that adds a nice little bit of, 
I don't know, not realism, but it adds a nice little bit to the hair. It kind of gives it a little bit more depth. I think at one point in this drawing, I do switch to a more purple kind of background just because it's more of a mid-tone as well. I always like to work on a mid-tone background um, just because you can see your darker colors more and your lighter colors will pop more as well and it makes sure you're drawing sort of like in the correct tonal value. But I used to do the whole grayscale to color thing a lot and that's because I was trying to learn how to incorporate all the different tones into my drawings but now I like to just draw straight onto a mid-tone background and also because her hair was really light it helped to be drawing on a mid-tone because it was easier to see the hair if that makes sense rather than on a white background and the next thing I do is just add a shine layer with sort of like a texture to the brush so I can get this kind of glittery effect in the hair um, which I always like to do. I think I have a tutorial on how to do that from last summer so I'll have that linked in like a card or something if you're interested in how I do that. And I guess the last thing that I really want to end this video on is basically asking you guys what you want to see, what kind of speed paint you want to see in the future on this channel, whether you want to see more traditional videos, if you want to see more challenge videos, and whether or not you've enjoyed watching this draw this in your style and if you want to see more draw this in your styles because I'm kind of working on one at the moment and I'd like to do some more as well because they're really fun. I also want to host my own draw this in your style for you guys to enter and then I was thinking like I could showcase the different entries in a video and that would be really fun. So let me know if you want me to do that. I have an exciting video coming tomorrow hopefully so yeah put on those notifications, the notification bell. I feel like such a rusty YouTuber despite the fact I've been <laughs> uploading for the last few weeks. I don't know, university is very stressful guys, I am really struggling, so getting videos out as well as university has been very challenging but the good news is that I finish this year of university in May. I finish at the very end of May, so I will be free for all of summer, which means I'll have time to spend on YouTube videos. I'm so relieved. And then there's just one more year of university left until I'm completely done. So that's kind of exciting and scary. Anyway, <laughs> my rambling is over now. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget I'll have a video tomorrow on redesigning an old character. So make sure you come back to check that out. Bye guys.